Hi everybody and welcome to day three of the Holiday Bible Club Forky's Great Escape from the Ordinary to the Extraordinary. Now today I have a problem. I have lost Forky. Can anybody find him for me? I'm not sure where he went. He, he went off and, and wanted to just be on his own for a while and to be able to do some things for himself. But we need to find him. Otherwise, we won't be able to start our holiday Bible club today. So if you can spot him, you point out where he is and let me know, okay? Thanks. Have a look. There he is. Come on down here, Forky. I want to talk to you. Come on down. Yes, you. Come on. Let's be having you. Come on down. Great. See you soon. Yes, we found Forky. Now off you go, Forky. Uh, well done. Unfortunately, Forky still thinks that he's just a piece of trash. He doesn't understand yet his worth and how important he is to his friends around him and how important he is to Bonnie. And so today in our story, we're going to learn about a young man in the Bible who had great worth in the sight of God. God really trusted him to do what he asked him to do. And so Gideon in the Bible really trusted God and when he trusted God, he really learned that his faith was stretched and uh, really tested his faith to do what God asked him. And, you know, in Toy Story, we have a character who is stretched um, in the story as well. Can you guess who he is? You maybe might be able to see him. He's coming up now. Yes, it's Slinky. And Slinky in Toy Story was really stretched, but he did it because he loved the little toy that he had seen stuck in the drain. And he hung over the side of the window and reached down and rescued the little toy. And you know, God wants to do that with us. He wants to stretch us and he wants to rescue us so that we will follow him in our lives each day. So let's take a look at the Bible story now to find out how God stretched Gideon's faith. Gideon's battle with the Midianites. This is Gideon. Gideon had been chosen by God to look after his people Israel from the Midianites, who kept coming and robbing them. They rode in on their camels and seized the Israelite sheep, cattle and donkeys, and even ate up all their crops and food. The people of Israel cried out to God for help, and God chose Gideon. The Midianites were camped in the Jezreel Valley, near the hill of Moriah, with 135,000 men, whilst Gideon had 32,000 men from the tribes of Manasseh, Asher, Zebulun and Naphtali. But God said, You have too many men. I want the Midianites to know that I was the one who defeated them. Tell anyone who was afraid that they can go home. So 22,000 left to go home, leaving 10,000 men behind. But God said again, there are still too many. So God told Gideon to take the men down to the water and separate those that scoop up the water in their hands and lap like a dog with those who kneel down to drink. 300 scooped up the water. They stayed. And the rest went home. And God said, I will give you victory with 300 men. That night, God told Gideon, If you are afraid to attack, go down to the camp with your servant Pura and listen to what the Midianites are saying, and you will be greatly encouraged. So Gideon and Pura went down and listened behind a tent and heard one of the men telling his friend about a dream he had had. A loaf of barley bread came tumbling down into our camp. It hit the tent and completely knocked it flat. Oh no, said his friend. That means that God has given the victory to Gideon. Hearing this, Gideon was very excited and gave thanks to God. He ran back to camp and told his men to get up, for God has given them the victory over the Midianites. He divided the 300 men into three groups and gave each man a ram's horn and a clay jar with a torch in it. 
He instructed them that as soon as they heard him blow his horn, they should do the same and shout, For the Lord and for Gideon! Just after the changing of the guard at midnight, Gideon's group of a hundred men reached the edge of the Midianite camp. Suddenly, they blew the ram's horns and broke their clay jars. The other groups did the same. They held their blazing torches in their left hands, their horns in their right hands, and shouted, A sword for the Lord and for Gideon! Each man stood still and watched as the Lord caused the Midianites to rush around in a great panic. They began fighting themselves with their own swords. And they fled back to the river Jordan with Gideon's men following after them, killing all the men they could find. So Gideon defeated the Midianites with God's help and the land had peace for the next 40 years. You know, God really stretched Gideon's faith. He really had to trust that God had the best for him at all times. And, you know, God just, uh, like the slinky toy, God stretched Gideon. Imagine having 32,000 men to go into battle with. And then God saying, no, I want you to take that down and take it down again and take it down again to only 300 men. That Gideon had to trust God had stretched his faith and he would bring it together. He would win the battle. And you find that Gideon trusted God and listened to God in his life to know what was right. And you know, Forky was beginning to learn to trust his friends and to start to believe that he was made for more much more than this and you know maybe you're being stretched right now maybe you're feeling in this time that you're being stretched with all your school work and all the worries that you have about the things that are happening in our world maybe you're being stretched with your friends and your family at the moment maybe lots of things are stretching you and pulling you at the moment But you know, we have a God who is there for us, that will look after us in all situations. When you feel stretched and out of your comfort, turn to God and he will help you. And remember that you are created and made for much more than this. So remember how Gideon kept his faith. Even when he was stretched to his limits, he kept his faith and believed in God. And we too need to remember that God is never going to leave you. Just like he never left Gideon, he will never leave you and he will be by your side. And when you get stretched, trust in God and he will see you through. And all you have to do is to trust him and believe that he has the best for you in your life. And so in order to be able to do that, we ask God to come into our lives and be with us each and every day. And to thank him for what Jesus did for us on the cross, that he died for us so that we would know God for ourselves.